Hello everyone, welcome back to Tropical Desert Gaming, and uh, today I am back with some more Minecraft, and today I'm playing this uh, map on Bedrock. Um, uh, what is this called? It's called uh, Sustainable City. Yeah, I saw, I saw it on Marketplace, and it was free, so I thought um, I should give it a try. So here I am giving it a try, and yeah... We'll we'll see how it is. Um. So if so before we but before we get started though, if you guys uh, do enjoy this and you want me to do more videos like this, make sure to let me know by hitting the like button down by hitting the like button. Also, hitting subscribe down below if you haven't already. I would really appreciate new subscribers. I'm almost at a thousand right now. So pl thank you so much, guys. Keep up the amazing support. And also, um. Also, after hitting that subscribe button, go and hit the bell next to it so that you'll be notified whenever I post new videos like this. And also, yeah. Anyway, so let's... Whoa, I didn't notice her. Okay. Well, this is actually my first time uh, letting go of, uh, like, third character, third person, you know? Or whatever this mode, mode is called. Yeah, it was my first time exiting out of that, and I just noticed her. I didn't notice her before. But I noticed this written book. What does this written book say? Welcome to Sustainability Town. Tips. The teacher can send you on lessons. Follow the sparkles when on a lesson. Interact with people to move. Uh, or interact with people to talk them and move the lesson along you have a blackboard in your hotbar you can use it to return to the classroom there are electric buses in each area you can use them to travel around town so I'm taking the bus around town okay what is what are you my teacher Hmm. Good morning, class. Teach, which, which, tell me which lesson you would like to start. Lesson one, food production. Lesson two, water treatment. Lesson three, green building. Lesson four, sustain, sustainable forestry. Lesson four, energy efficient housing. Lesson six, power grid. Oh, I see. This is, um... I see. Community service, I guess, is what this is. So, um, I did see that this was education edition thing. So, um, I guess, so. Uh, <laughs> so, I guess, um, learning these, like, community service lessons. I'd like to start with, um, you know what? I think I'd like to do the lessons in order. So, start with lesson one. Whoa. Okay, um, so I have, oh, oh, okay, I have some ball, I have some snowballs in my, uh, in my inventory, I guess that's what they were talking about when, uh, with the buses maybe, but, um, wow, ooh, look at that stop sign, kind of in a cross shape, <laughs> But, um, so I guess I'm supposed to follow these particles. So I'm in here. Hey, guys. How's it going? I guess I'm at a food market. You supposed to be talking to me? Where does your food come from? Oh, I'm supposed to interact with you, looks like. Do you know where your food comes from? I think it comes from a farm. I wonder if there is a farm nearby. Oh. Oh, I'm supposed to go interact with this guy, I guess. All these wonderful food products come from the farm behind the grocery store. Don't tell the boss that I let you through here. Okay, I won't, clerk. Okay. So I'm supposed to... So I'm going back here. Hmm. This isn't really a farm. This is kind of a suburban neighborhood. 
What are you doing here, though? Well, I guess... Oh, you're the farmer. Hi, this is my farm. Howdy, y'all. This is my farm. Oh, my God. Okay, sorry, I can't. I'll just speak regular. I raise all the food that you see in the grocery store. We work hard to make sure we are responsible to make sure we are responsibly producing food. Go ahead and go inside to learn more. Oh, so I have to go into your house. Nice house. I like it. I like to live in a house like this. And uh, okay, so I'm going back here. Oh, and here's the farm. Oh, I see. <laughs> Got a bit of a manor farm here. <laughs> yeah. Manor farm. Hopefully, um, Napoleon won't rise in this uh, manor farm. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. Agricultural runoff. Growing our crops takes a lot of water. We use a process called irrigation. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I know about irrigation. My house actually gets some irrigation. To get the water to, pl to the plants. But when there is more water than the ground can absorb, it washes pesticides, fertilizer, and heavy metals out of the solid, out, out of the solid into the water supply, uh, or out of the soil into the water supply, excuse me. Yeah, that's why you gotta be careful when you use pesticides and stuff like that. Whoa, did I just... Oh, I guess I just, like, quickly... That was weird. Okay, but... Oh, irrigation tech. Okay. Irrigation tech, are you gonna teach me... Uh, how um the irrigation people um that come and do the irrigation at my house uh do it you gonna teach me how they work using efficient irrigation equipment can eliminate overwatering it knows just how much water to use because it monitors temperature soil moisture leaf wetness and humidity our computers share the information with other farms so we can all be as efficient as possible. Yeah, I'd imagine it's a pretty important deal. You really would need to work together on that kind of thing. Make sure you know what you're doing. Oh, which apparently I didn't know what I was doing there. <laughs> uh, oh, so I'm supposed to interact with her? Cover crops. Okay. How do you cover the crops? After plants are harvested, their roots aren't there to hold the soil together anymore. This can cause the soil to wash away in the winter rains. We plant ant crops between harvests to hold the soil in place. When we want to grow again, we, we till them into the fur into the soil and they act as fertilizer the winter rains <laughs> okay who are you you look like a cop crop rotation <laughs> uh, you're a crop cop <laughs> she's a crop cop <laughs> yeah sorry I'll I'll get serious here. R rotation is all... Wait a second. Crop rotation. Oh, was was I supposed to be... Hold on a second. Now I'm like... Okay. Okay, I see. Uh, okay, was it just for her? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to slap you. Um, was it just... Okay, I guess it's just for her. That she has that thing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah... Show me how to rotate the crops, crop cop. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm calling you, crop cop. C 
crop rotation is all about keeping your soil in good condition by planting different crops in each field each season. Okay, so show me crop rotation. Oh, oh I see daylight cycle. Oh, uh, yeah, shows how rotate the crops. But yeah, it is true. Crop rotation is important because you do need to keep the soil healthy. Okay. <laughs> so I guess, do I follow these particles now? Okay. I guess I follow these things. And over, over here. What are you? Compost spreading. Oh, you're the guy who helps with the composting. Okay. I, I probably need you at my house um, to teach those guys, to teach the yard guys um, how the compost works and that they should, yeah, you know what, never mind. We spread compost on our fields seasonally to improve soil pro 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 properties, sorry, <laughs> that's a hard word to read. Provide nutrients in a stable, organic form. Increase plant growth and health and cons... In increase plant growth and health. Excuse me. And conserves water. Okay. So I guess this is the composting here. You're throwing all the, um... You're throwing all the, like, tree branches and stuff in there so it can be composted. Yeah. You should probably tell that to the yard workers at my house that uh, the tree uh, tree branches and tree leaves and stuff belong in the compost. They don't belong in the trash can. But anyway, regardless. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, just... They really... I'm sorry, just... You know what, let's... Let me just... Forget that. Here we go, compost. Um... Compost is a great way to fertilize the soil, especially since it is a product of food waste. We get it de delivered directly from the composting facility. Why don't you follow those trucks to see how compost is made? Yeah, compost is good for the environment too, I've heard that. What is compost? Hello, hello, did did you know that all the yard waste that you set out at home comes to this facility here? Mm, nah, it doesn't actually. It, m most of it, um, most of the yard guys at my place actually just throw it in the trash can. And I, I, I do have a compost box though, should really remind them to put it in that compost box, but... But sorry, that's not the point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the com compost facility, where here we take yard waste and turn it into a valuable compost product. Go ahead and go in to learn more about the process. Oh yeah, love to learn more. Okay. What are you compost? Compost cop. <laughs> Uh, finished compost, okay. Compost takes time to make. We put them in piles called windrows. This windrow has been sitting here for 12 weeks and it is just now finished. Windrows? So, like, all that brown stuff that's in my compost, is that windrow? I'll have to... I might have to check compost experts on that one. Windrows, okay. Um, a long pile or windrow of compost is made by sandwiching biosolid biosolids in between two layers of shredded yard waste. All right. Mixing and aeration. Aeration? What is that? This is a windrow turner. It, it aerates and mixes the, bio, the biosolids. 
and shredded yard waste. Mm. Excuse me, sorry, I, I just um, got done eating breakfast. Yeah, I probably, um, it was probably a good idea to, it was probably a bad idea for me to record a video right after eating. But anyway, de uh, excuse me, decomposition. The process of composting generates heat. W once the windrow is mixed and aerated, we stick in those temperature judges and monitor the temperature. Okay. Yeah, whatever that means. Shredding. Oh, look at that. Like a conveyor belt. Anyway, what's shredding? We grind up the yard waste with this big tub grinder. The shredded up bits of yard waste have a lot more surface area and will decompose faster. Okay, I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I, I had a friend text me and I had to respond to it, but yeah, I'm back now and ready to move on. So, um, what do we got now? We got biosolids. Okay, biosolids are a are a byproduct of water reclamation. After they are pr processed at the water reclamation plant, they come here to become the key ingredient in nutrition compost. So let's see those biosolids. <gasps> well, why did I get teleported over here? You the biosolids? The biosolids are heated in the boiler and natural bacteria break down the waste. We capture the methane gas pro produced by this process and use it to heat our buildings and fuel the boilers that heat the biosolids, bi 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 excuse me. The resulting product can be used in farming as nutrient-rich compost. Yeah. All right, oh, you're uh, the biosolids. Bi and then what is compost? Hello, did you know that all the wa the yard waste that that you set out at home comes to this facility here? Welcome to the composting facility. Here we take yard waste and turn it into valuable compost product. Go ahead and go in to learn more about the process, didn't I? Didn't you already tell me that? Uh my uh my hallucinating actually no not even hallucinating am i i'm experiencing deja vu or something Ooh, ooh i can't open those though <laughs> and what's that over there okay you know what never mind i guess i'm supposed to go to the arrow over here what is recycling do you want to see how all things that you put in the recycling get separated and processed to to go in and learn? Okay. Wait, can I not go through here? I suppose I could, but I'm supposed to go through the door. I don't see why, considering as the place is open, but the the like oh yeah, oh those are like Oh, those are like those uh, up and down like garage doors. I I see. Ooh, that recycled waste, recycled matter, sorting. Here we manually sort out the non-recyclables that accidentally make it into the recycling bin. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a that's a big problem. We can't have anything contaminate the final product. Uh, yeah, I heard, I heard that's a big problem. Things going into the recycling that cannot be recycled. Yeah. <laughs> All right, glass screen, glass screen. The glass that comes through the facility falls down through this screen and is processed below. 
Oh, so this I guess is where it's processed. Oh, it goes goes through here, whatever this is. And then over here. And then through here and so on. You know what? Ballist ballistic separation. Se se yeah, separation. No, separator. <laughs> this is a ballistic separator. It forces the heavier items like metal and plastic down while keeping the lighter items like paper and cardboard on top. Go ahead and push that button to turn on the ballistic separator. Oh, oh, this one? Oh. Hmm. Oh, I guess I was supposed to like click that button and then go and see this area over here. Okay, that, um. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Uh, is there any way to stop that annoying noise? Uh, I guess not. Alright. We'll have to deal with it. Rubber roller. Paper sticks of... Paper sticks to these rubble rollers and is separated from the cardboard. Uh, so they're separating paper from cardboard here. Okay, where am I going now? Okay, over here. Double check. <laughs> Discount double check. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was that's kind of off topic. Metal and plastic items are separated here. I'm making sure that no non recyclables have made it past our other stations. Okay. And then Eddie Current. Eddie Current? Your name's Eddie Current. Or is that what this machine is? Metal is pulled upward by the electromagnetic uh, ele 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 electromagnet, excuse me, here. It flies and a little f it flies a little further off the conveyor belt than the plastic items uh, than the plastic items. That's how metal and plastics are separated. Oh, so you were separating metal and plastics. Okay. Separating the different materials. That's kind of smart. But, but bailing. But, yep. Yeah, bailing. You're, or balling? No, 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 no. That's not balling. That's, uh, but balling? Balling? You know what? Uh, whatever. Up here, you can see the ba the balers. Uh, oh, they are balers. Okay. Um, they smash the recyclables. We need to pr press each material into cubes so they can get transported. You know what? What it? Maybe, maybe it's not ba baler. Like, um. Let me know. Uh, if you guys know what this is pronounced, let me know in the comments. But yeah. Um, I'm s okay. So I'm supposed to go over here. Glass processing. Up ahead is where we process the collected glass. We only process glass from food and drink containers, glass from windshields, and high temperature glass like Pyrex cannot be mixed with the glass processed here go in and learn more okay so so no like car windshields no like um house windows or anything like that okay i see wait oh i'm going over here now i'm going over here to this cop whoever she is glass cop okay this furniture heats the glass to, to, to 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. Mmm, 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. That is, that is hot. That's hot enough to melt the glass material into a liquid. Oh, yeah. It, that's pretty much hot enough to, that's hot enough to pretty much melt anything. <laughs> uh, 
once it's liquefied, it can be sharpened into whatever size or shape required. Oh, so can I... Oh, God, that's hot. Okay, I shouldn't do that. Um, wait, was that hot? Oh, no, the hotness is down here or whatever. The heat is down there. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> what is this? Recycled glass. Did you know that it takes more energy to produce a jar, a, a glass jar or a bottle from new material than from recycled glass? Glass can be recycled endlessly without losing quality or, or purity. Purity? Whatever that says. Um, correct me if I pronounce that wrong. But we should be recycling more glass. What does that word mean? Pur purity? Purity? Mm. Yeah, um, if you guys know what this is pronounced and know what it means, let me know in the comments. But, yeah. Um, okay, what are you? You're delivery cop. Or the, the postman. <laughs> okay, you're not a cop, you're a postman. Okay, I see. I deliver the nearly the nearly recycled glass jars to the farm here. They look so clear, you couldn't tell the difference. I think they use them to package honey. Anyways, I have to get back to unloading this truck. Okay. Alright. What are you, honey packing? We used recycled glass jars and recycled cardboard, cardboard to package our honey. Um, more manufacturers should package their products using recycled material. <laughs> mm, excuse me. Recycled materials. These are ready for the grocery store. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with you. They should use more recycled materials. Okay, where am I going now? Am I, am I heading outside the farm now? Am I getting out of the farm? Finally. Oh, looks like... Yep, it's a... Yep, I'm going into the bus. I'm going... <laughs> I'm going into the bus. <laughs> Alright. Hey, uh, can you take me back to my school, please, bus driver? Have you completed your lesson? I can take you back to town... I can take you back to town. Yep, you can take me back to town. Huzzah! Lesson completed. <laughs> I like that. Huzzah! <laughs> Alright. Wait, oh yeah, this is the thing again. Okay, and uh... Do I go to the classroom? Wait, how do I return to the classroom? What is this? Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. I guess it glitched. So I guess that's it for lesson one. Maybe I'll do a part two for lesson two. Um, let, let, well, let me know, depending on how you guys feel in the comments section. But, um, but anyways, guys, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to let me know by hitting the like button down below. I'll, and also by hitting that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I'm almost at a thousand, so hopefully I can get to... A thousand subscribers um, by the end of February. That would be awesome. And also, after hitting that subscribe button, go and hit the bell next to it so that you'll be notified whenever I post new videos like this. And also, everything I just said, you can also do. Um, you could also leave a comment down below in case you. Um, yeah, everything I just said, you can also use a leave a comment down below for um, in case you want to. Um, you want me to do a part two and so on and so on. Yeah. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for today. Welcome back to Tropical Desert Gaming. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios, amigos.